each and every one of us is a criminal. Let me tell you why I say this. Because if you have sent a nude, forwarded a link or something, you have willingly or unwillingly distributed pornography and that is a criminal offense. My lawyer friends can either back my shit up or call out my bullshit, one of the two. But um, you may ask why I say this. Because um, all of us are criminals. If you have ever sexted, you're a criminal. Oh, you don't know what sexting is. Sexting is the act of having sexual conversation, some including photos and video over the phone, okay? <laughs> so, do you see more of you are accepting that you're criminals? All right, let's continue. What do you need to sext? You need a phone with a good camera and a somewhat okay internet connection. And with this, oh, one more thing, a very very crazy imagination okay <laughs> a few months ago there was this lady a video went around about this lady who was trying to sex with her boyfriend and it was hilarious <laughs> but that's the back side of things now let's talk about the positive side of things so this one time i was sexing with my girl and let me tell this so let me tell you how it happened so i was in the office and i shot my girl a text i'm like hey babe how you doing? Send. And I waited. Oh, that's the worst part about sexting. The waiting. Okay, the waiting. Anyway, a few minutes later, ding! I'm doing just fine. What about you? <laughs> the other advantage of sexting, before we continue this story, the other advantage of sexting is that people get very courageous behind their little screens. People will say the craziest things behind their little screens. No, have a girl send you something like, I'm going to make you do a handstand, get you upside down, then turn around and back that shit up on you and ride you backwards. What? Yeah, but that's how wild people get on those itty bitty screens. Back to the story. So, I was like, I'm doing just fine, but tell me what you wearing send haha <laughs> yeah oh oh if you're wearing any panties i want you to take them off and send me a picture send and i waited i waited and three minutes later three to five minutes later ding, and i open it up and wow it's exactly what I had asked for. And this, this is the beauty of sexting right here. When you get what you asked for, it's a beautiful feeling. It's bliss. Then she followed up with, did daddy like that? I was like, hell yeah, daddy like that. <laughs> okay. A few minutes later, she sends me a text. Ding! Now you show me something. And now, I should mention, at this point, I should mention that during this time, I was in a meeting. Don't judge me. <laughs> All of us have been in meetings where we were bored and we decided to find something else to do. I chose to sext. That's my fault. But all of us have done it, okay? Now, I had to find a way to explain to this woman who had gone out of our way. I don't know what she was doing before those earlier amazing three minutes. I don't know what she was doing, but she got out of her way and did something for me and sent it to me. And I was like, wow, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's really a beautiful thing. But how can I reciprocate? And I'm in a meeting. So um, you can tell by now that I wasn't talked to for the rest of the afternoon because I couldn't find a way to justify <laughs> what I had just done. and. It was crazy. Uh, I did my best. I apologized like 600 times. Um, I said I would find a way to make it up to her. I did, I did not even know how at the time. But I knew I had to fix this. So by the time I got home, people were still mad as fuck. And I continued to apologize. I apologize. Okay, quick side note. Why is it that guys are more ready to say sorry? Even when it's not our fault, we are prepared to just accept it so that we can get past the problem and get to the other side. 
but women oh my goodness <laughs> women have a problem with saying sorry okay you could get into a fight with your girl and this is her fault no this is not me who could not uh reciprocate a sex no this is her fault she's the one who messed up but she will not say sorry she cannot say sorry you could get into a fight with your girl and give her a simple ultimatum it's her fault remember it's her fault give her a simple ultimatum option one just say you're sorry and we get past this shit and we move on option two you eat a bag of nails and just like that this bitch gonna pick up her phone and if you ask her hey babe what you doing I'm trying to find a recipe <laughs> to cook me some nails because I know I can't be the only bitch having to deal with this from her man <laughs> Uh, for all those guys who subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. If you haven't, you can do so by clicking on the little red button underneath this video. Uh, the biggest thing you could do for me is share these videos. Uh, I really have so much fun doing this. I want more people to see what I'm doing and get me out there because this is my work. This is what I love. So once again, thank you very much. I am Ricky Nelson.